Hi, I'll be showing a war dog flood from a third person view instead of a first person view um, because then I can really focus more on the strategy. Also, it will be a shorter video because I put it to five times. So, blue that is me doing a war dog flood. And at the top we have red, which is a very hard AI. Um, and you see that, that, that red is walking a lot, uh, like AIs do, but it's, it's quicker at gathering resources, it has a bonus. So red is doing great. So it has now 24 units compared to me, also 24. Um, but if you take a, a look at the blue player, that's me, um, I will be rushing out only women. So I only make women and I focus on getting stable up quickly and not building up a regular army. It's only women building fields, building stables, and that's it. Focus on food and wood now, where red is being more all round. So red has now 36 units, where blue still has 40, so I still have more units. Although I don't have a bonus, but this is only women what I have. Whereas the computer has about already 12, 14 fighting units and already has reached town phase. So let's take a look at blue. So blue, that is me. I'm already building our, my first war dogs. Uh, and now I already sent them out. And we're going to follow them. And here we see what they're doing to the computer opponent. So that is at around seven minutes. I sent it nine war dogs. And they are doing, well, damage. And this is what is what simply is the strategy. You put in, so there are some new war dogs here. You just send in war dogs all the time. And then in the end it will drag down uh, the, the AI. Of course, while you do this strategy, you will also uh, increase your economy to be able to do it quicker and quicker. So there are no more war dogs coming in. And let's take a look at the, so now they only have 37 units and this number will go down and down again and after a while the AI will lose all will to live. 32, 31, so there are war dogs here now, 29, 31. So this, op this AI clearly is getting a hard time dealing with this. So apparently I don't send them, there were, there's a new round of war dogs coming in. Uh, like the AI already built up again to 40 units, but now it's going down again to 37. Uh, and uh, because I let slip a bit the production of those war dogs, but now it's at 38. There are here 10 new war dogs going in, killing some women here, going again to to take a look at the marketplaces. So the marketplaces are very important to the computer because they are a, a source of income, so you want to get rid of that. But of course you also want to kill all the enemy units, as well, especially the soldiers. Uh, yeah, well, the women make a juicy target. In any case, you want to get rid of all enemy units as well, including the traders, uh, for different reasons. But just flood in war dogs all the time, that's what I do. Uh, so now it's already brought to 22 units, so it's going great for me. Let's take a look at what I'm doing. So this is going nice. So the the war dogs they are working here, or the the their goal now. So let's see when I send in more war dogs again. Let's see where are they? They are well. They are here now attacking this trading line. And now blue still is at 22 units, um, where I am already at 115 units. So I'm doing great. The computer is doing terrible. So let's take a look at how, how I did that. So you see that I already have all eight farmlands there. Um, I'll build some more farmlands even later. And I've also researched all the farming upgrades. So in a workshop, uh, I mean, not in a workshop, in this, in a farmstead, there are upgrades you can do to get more 
farming in to do quicker farm production. And at the work at the storehouse you can get the wood cutting upgrades. I, I have both. Um, those are what you focus on. And when you go up and uh, when you go up you do that mostly to get new upgrades in again. So at the moment the computer the AI is doing terrible, only 13 units. Um, and also, uh, let's take a look, so there are some women sometimes here. Like, I don't like my war dogs to go to the civic center too often, because it will just kill them. So that's why my war dogs are waiting here. Uh, instead of attacking the women that are at the ci at close to the civic center. But sometimes the war dogs will be drawn in, and that's all okay. They will die. Uh, probably now they will... No, they, they, they fly. They, they flee again. But... But uh, th this is like a small group. This is just getting food in. There's there's no wood being chopped down. And maybe here there's one. But but blues is, is really dead already. So that means that I will um, start about killing him uh, using siege weapons. So already here there's a fortress here. Like I wanted this upgrade will to fight because it's a very useful upgrade. It makes all your all your fighters stronger, so it's a very influential upgrade. I never managed to get the, the, the needed food in, because I still keep incending war dogs all the time. Uh, and that's, that is the strategy. So red only has 13, 12 units now, and it won't be long. Uh, there's a new, new flood of war dog, dogs. It won't be long until I send out the main army. Here is the main army with some, some battering rams. Um, I already owned that tower, I used this tower as a base, but now killing the opponent is very trivial, because the AI only has 3 units, I have 270, um, so that will be trivial. So just taking a look at, uh, at the charts again, so you can see that the score of me goes up exponentially, where red is flattening out, uh, because, well, uh, I killed all the units. So you can see this mostly in the population. You see that my population goes up more or less exponentially or linearly, whereas rather slowly being bled to death. All right, so this was my video about a war dog flood from a third person perspe perspective. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a very good day. Bye.